from Planet Stare. I'm here at the 2014 Vans Warped Tour and I am here with Jason Lancaster. How are you doing today? Doing good. Doing good. A little hot. Yeah, it's hot um, today. Yeah, you know, I, I was uh, thinking about taking a swim, maybe in the lake over here. I don't know. Oh, see what happens. Is that sanitary? I think there's an actual, actual alligator in that lake. Every year they talk about there's an alligator in the lake, so. I mean, it's probably not true. There's no way the same alligators in the lake I all the time. I hope not. <laughs> well, you're from Florida, so you probably know alligators a delicacy. Yeah, so, delicious. Would the alligators think that humans taste like chicken? Because that's what we all say that you know, yeah. it, it tastes like chicken. Probably. I mean, I would assume so. I, I don't know. We could we could ask an alligator and find out. That'll be our next interview. <laughs> Uh, so how's Warped Tour been going for you? Good, good. It's just my second day out, so, you know, I just wanted to come out and have a good time. You no know, stress. see a lot of my friends from last year, and, you know, yeah. done Warped a few times, so it's good to, to just do it the Florida run, so. <laughs> Wait, because you're, as I say, you're a Florida boy, so is yeah. it fun just to kind of hang around your hometowns and see oh, locals and... Always. You know, I see the locals all the time, but it's the, you know, Kenny and, and everybody like that out here that I got to got to connect with again, so it's good. All right, and we know you guys have toured a lot, or you have toured a lot in the past. What do you do to avoid boredom on the road normally? PlayStation. PlayStation. PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation. Every um, day? Yeah, well, constantly. Constantly. So we take it you got <laughs> very good with your reaction times. So. Oh, man, I, my speed on Call of Duty is all the way up, so. <laughs> so let's not challenge Jason to uh, an Xbox face-off. That's not a smart idea. Let's not do that. So we were just talking about your last album, Go Radio, and how well that did. And then now you've done your own solo EP, I believe. Right? And how do you find crowds responding to that? Or do they still request you play Go Radio stuff? I mean, everyone's, I'm, I'm honestly honored when people ask for it, because it's it's stuff that I wrote. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's never a bad thing, but um, they seem to be loving the new stuff too. So it's, it's a good, good all the way around, just a good thing. What is one song you love performing live? Do I? Do I is, is one of my favorites. It's got the most, uh, I guess they call it vamps, but just where you can do whatever you want yeah. to vocally in it. So I, I enjoy. So you get to Do-I. mess around with it and have some fun. That, exactly. It's a good one. We, I liked that song. That was a good one that I liked. <laughs> so I, I'm in favor of that one. What was your first Warp Tour memory? My first Warp Tour memory was in high school. Less than Jake was there. And I think I got a concussion. So my first Milk Warped Tour memory is blurry. Very blurry, all right. <laughs> all right. Can we ask how the concussion was received? How every good concussion is received and at a circle pit. Nice, we like that. That's good. That's good. I lost my shoe in my first circle pit. Nice. I found it. That's good. I first attached someone else's foot, but I found oh, there it. There you go. That's the, way to, that's the way to do it. That's how we do it at Warped Tour. Yeah. Um, so, do you have any crazy fan encounters that you've had recently? Uh, none recently. I haven't been on the road in a year, so... Yeah, I've, I've been out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I stay at home. I've got a little kid or a little kid on the way. Oh, congratulations. Um, yeah. Boy or girl? Boy. Congratulations. Are you yeah. excited? Super excited. Teach him how to play guitar and all that other fun stuff? Well, it's hard to do that now because he's in the womb. Oh, well, yeah. Not right but, now. Uh, maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day. All right. <laughs> we, uh, we spoke to William Beckett last year and he's doing songs with his daughter. She does That's little, awesome. little routines. So are you hoping your child will be musical? I don't think he has a choice. I think, you know, both, even my wife, she says she's not musical. She's totally musical. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to have fun with him. Yeah. You know, like if he wants to take that route, then I want to push him there. If not, then he's more than welcome to go to school and put me in a nice retirement home one day. <laughs> this, is, this is for you. This is your time capsule. Hear what your father says. <laughs> Would you bring him along Warp Tour? Would you ever do that? One day, yeah. yeah. Warp Tour's fun. Yeah. Summer camp. Once he's, yeah, once he's old enough to appreciate it and, and uh, you know, kind of not let the heat bother him. So. Yeah, probably. Well, he's good. Is he, you guys live in Florida, am I yeah. correct? So he'll be used to the heat by that point. I oh, if, if he's not, then... Something's wrong. Yeah. Something's definitely wrong. We've been taking too many vacations. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so the last question I'm going to ask you about Warp Tour. What do you think every person should do on Warp Tour at least once? That's a tough one. I, I feel like everyone has to get a big sweaty Kenny hug at least one time yeah. on Warp Tour. Yeah, I never wears a shirt, and he's the sweatiest dude that ever lived. So you, you got to get that big warm Papa Bear embrace where it's just you're just covered in, in nasty, disgusting Kenny sweat. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it, 
he's taller than everyone in the world too. So it's like you're like chest level. It's intense. I'm I'm chest level like everybody. Though. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty short, so that might not be a good idea. <laughs> so now we're gonna move into a game of Warped Tour. Would you rather? So we got some fun questions for you. Would you rather have your set rained out or have your bus break down? Rained out. Is easier to deal with or? Well, rained out. Like the last time my set was rained out was actually. West Palm of Warp Tour last year. Mm -hmm. So I just got an acoustic guitar and just sang through with no power. Um, Makes for a good story. Yeah, so you've got a good story or you've got a broken down bus. True, and they're more expensive to fix, I believe. Yeah. So would you rather find stowaways on your bus or leave a crew member behind? Stowaways, get down. Stowaways come with a story. Um, you know, whether they make it up or not, it could be pirates. True. Could be, could be lots of stuff. You don't know. You just don't know. Would you, would you kick them out curbside or would you take no them to the way. next stop? No way. You go all the way to the next stop. <laughs> so see, stowaway on Jason Lancaster's books. You won't get kicked out. You'll be fine. You will have. She a might home. have to rent a bunk. Might but... have to rent a bunk. It should only be like five bucks. She'll be fine. <laughs> would you rather be on a long flight with Green Day or Blink 182? Green Day. Easier. You are the, is the second person that sounds out. Third person. Yeah. Everyone else said Blink. Green Day. Why Green Day for you? They were here first. Uh, Dookie was one of the first pop punk records I ever got. My cousin gave it to me on a cassette tape. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. Best thing ever, right? Ever. All right, we like this. Would you rather bungee jump or skydive? Skydive. You're into the free fall. You're just gonna go for it. Well, you have control. If you panic skydiving, you can always pull the chute and coast to a safe landing. Bungee jumping, there's no control in. The, that rope is that long. That's that's just the end that's of it. That's true. We yeah. never thought about that. That's a very well thought out point. <laughs> we, no one's mentioned that. Would you rather get pranked by Of Mice and Men or We Are the In Crowd? In Crowd. They're just softer, you think? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I've done, done a few tours with In Crowd. They're, they're cool guys. And uh, Did they prank you? No. No. Surprising. Yeah, I mean, look at me. I don't look like a guy you really want to prank. I'm this pretty is big true. dude. true. You're a pretty big dude. Yeah. You look pretty tough. Yeah. You got the beard and everything. Yeah. Don't mess with him. We're not gonna try it. Look at that. You're scary. Um, would you rather go to play on the wrong stage or majorly flub on a song? That depends on what the wrong stage is. Well, let's say you're playing like the Kia stage and you wound up on like, I don't even know, Kevin Says stage. Wrong stage. Wrong stage? Wrong stage. Easy. Fans go where the music's at. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Get a shout out. I'm in the wrong stage. Come here. Exactly. Tweet. That's what social media is for. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> tweeting, it, tweeting makes everything easier. Would you rather have your makeup done by Jeffree Star or Black Veil Brides? Black Veil Brides. Why is that? Because then you can go on Halloween. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So would you take your kid to go get their makeup done by them for Halloween? No. No? No. My kid will be a pumpkin every year until he's old enough to yell at me for it. That's a smart idea, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it's when, when they're cute and chubby and they all look like pumpkins anyway, so it just, it just works. We'll, we'll let you go over that one. That works. That works. Well, Jason, thank you so much Absolutely. for interviewing us. It was fantastic to meet you. And you're watching Planet Stereo on YouTube at the 2014 Vans Warped Tour. Please keep checking back in for more interviews with awesome artists like Jason. And uh, be sure to buy his uh, solo EP. Thanks so much for watching. Cause I just don't get